Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I will be uh, doing a competition this month for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I don't do them often, and if someone actually contacts you saying, hey, I want to offer you a personal reading, call this number or send your uh, details to this email. That is not me, okay? I offer a competition. Uh, reading. I'll let you know how to win that competition right at the end of the reading as some people are here just for the reading itself and not the competition and I don't like to waste people's time. Okay, uh, I will be announcing the winner of the personal reading competition on the 12th of April, which is uh, in time for the new moon in Aries. That is one of the most critical times of the new year. Uh, it's a time to cultivate your vision, your goals, ooh, your ambitions. Wow, look at that, all of those. It's almost like Things were falling into place nicely. Uh, it's like a chip, you know, all the chips are falling where they may, okay? Uh, they want this one first, okay. So we have the Hierophant card. So perhaps you've done a little bit of learning recently, Capricorn, online courses, um, connecting to higher level bodies of institutions like colleges, schools, um, some sort of university kind of thing, uh, where you're learning some extra skills in order to do whatever it is that you want to do. I feel like you're employing a new craft or adding uh, skills to your bow in order to move forward uh, towards your dream goal. I also feel like I feel like this is a stepping stone. I'm just getting this energy recently for a lot of uh, people, but uh, in particular you Capricorn, this is Taurus energy. So I feel like it is a solid move, something that is based on practicality. I also feel like um, you may be doing something, it's really interesting uh, Capricorn, because you're very unique, very original. You have a lot of creativity and you do things a certain way. Uh, that is outside the norm, which is wonderful, okay? You think outside the box, you have skills that people go, wow, that is very unique. Um, but you may be working within an institution uh, that expects a certain thing done a certain way, traditions. But I feel like you're finding your feet through that um, and not conforming fully. I feel like you're living life on your own terms and you're using your skill set, but within a certain set of rules to they're giving me, maybe this is Picasso who said this, I'm not sure, because they're actually showing me Picasso right now. Um, and they're showing me him in his studio, kind of, it's almost like he's looking at me, but he's displaying his work. And his work is very um, unconventional, his work is breaking rules. And I, th there's an energy here, and maybe he said this, uh, it's almost like you have to learn the rules to break the rules. Uh, that's the energy that I'm getting from this, and I'm not sure if that is a quote by him or not, but they're showing me uh, Picasso for a reason. Uh, so I feel like that may be something that he's doing. I feel like something that you're doing, you're using your creative individuality within an institution. It actually draws attention to you. I feel like you're learning um, something extra to um, help you accomplish something. This is your protagonist energy. I feel like you're overcoming obstacles as well. Um, maybe, and I, I'd say this kind of with a pinch of salt. Don't shoot the messenger when I say this, Capricorn. I feel just like uh, I was doing a Gemini reading uh, earlier, um, maybe even yesterday, and there's an energy here of um, not really enjoying authority, having problems with the rules. If someone tells you something to do, you're like, yeah, okay, but you're blank on refusing to do it. I feel like you do it your own way. I also feel like you've got enough, um, I feel like your throat chakra is often very wide open and you're willing to say, no, that's not the way I see things going. This is how I want to do it. I feel like you're very much honoring yourself. I, I actually um, honor, I, I, I admire that in you, okay? Um, anyway, uh, in the antagonist position, we have the devil card. So there's an energy here of obsession, um, but also of control. Now I'm going to check out what this energy is. The devil card is showing you some sort of illusion. Uh, now this may be something that you were so you're, you're learning something new to overcome a fear. Now, it could be a fear of public speaking because right now they're showing me someone approaching a microphone. So maybe you uh, work with um, 
public speaking or uh, you, you, your job involves some sort of microphone or perhaps you're saying something, uh, maybe even just giving a presentation to uh, a group of people for the first time or that's a part of your job that you dislike, I feel like you may be um, overcoming that fear because this devil card energy, if I'm going to get a, a devil card in my spread at all, personally, I want it in this position. Why? Because it indicates that um, you are aware of the issue and you're overcoming the issue. You're, resist you're releasing it. You're not resisting it anymore. I feel very much like there's a detachment, a freedom from whatever you were fearing. As you can see, the moon is in the background creating the illusion. And the illusion is just drama unnecessary drama and Capricorn you do not like unnecessary drama okay um, you may have uh, sort of illuminated the fear and recognized that actually it's not so scary when you really look at it when you really dissect it it's just the illusion that has, that has been created from it the big old shadow so I feel like you're detaching yourself from that you're becoming aware of something that may have been holding you back and I feel like you're releasing that um, I will clarify this energy uh, and we got the overall outcome oh oh my gosh Capricorn what's going on here what is going on we have an emperor and we have an empress okay have you just recently got with someone romantically or and you're thinking about going into business with this person or are you um, partnering up with somebody that you're already in a relationship with to do business? Are you somehow combining your, um, is there a line being crossed here between love and business? Uh, I don't feel like that's something that you would necessarily do without thinking about it for a very long time, okay? Now, we got the Hierophant as well, so this indicates, you know, perhaps this person is someone you would consider a higher level commitment or even that you are married to. Um, so, um, because this is a career reading, it's unusual for them to all show up at once. So either you're thinking about going in a, into business with someone that you're in a high level commitment with uh, in some way, it could be a small business uh, on the side, because I feel like it's something that's on the side I feel like you're doing something else but there's something on the side with somebody okay now this doesn't have to be with a love interest it could be that you're partnering up with somebody that you respect you're planning for the future there's structure here there is success there is domination of your ideas I feel like you're gonna rise up you've got everything you need uh, to work your way through this career I feel like uh, I will pull some cards on it to clarify but I feel like there's a lot of abundance and a lot of um, I feel like there's a lot of success coming towards you that allows you to live a life of luxury. I feel like there's a new version of yourself. You're reconnecting with your inner self. I feel like you're um, brimming with potential and you're manifesting um, victory, basically, uh, because there is a new healthy version of yourself. You've released any fear. I feel like you're going for it, whatever this is, okay? I feel like you're not being rigid. In your ideas I feel like you're opening yourself up and anything that you may have been avoiding due to work for example you may have worked solidly and obsessively on your career for a very long time Capricorn and may have said to yourself you know what I'm gonna let love take a back seat I feel like you can have it all with this reading I feel like both all of this is coming into being here uh, I feel like um, I feel like you're rising up um, but I feel also along the way you're either partnering up with somebody or you're meeting someone, a meeting of minds, and I feel, I will clarify with the cards, but I feel like something romantic um, may come of that if you're single at the moment. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in the antagonist position, sorry, in the unified position. So this indicates the outcome. Luck is on your side. There is change here for the better. There is good karma and there is destiny. A lot of abundance, um, but you recognize that life has its ups and downs. Now's the time for it being up. This is good fortune, a turning point for you. You'll start to see destiny meeting synchronicity. A lot of um, numbers, double numbers coming your way. You may have already started to see them and thought, huh, that's really interesting, 10, 10. Oh, 555, five, five. very interesting. Uh, they're giving me 666 six, six and 333. Three, three. A lot of you may be thinking, oh my God, I saw 666 and we've got a devil card here. Actually, 666 is a very positive number, especially when it comes to love and power. Uh, so I feel very much since you've got love and power very much in your reading, um, I think that uh, everything is coming together for unity. Um, with this, I also feel like there is a lucky break that comes, uh, it turns out perfectly. You may feel like there's a gamble here. Now, whether the gamble is partnering up with somebody that you're in a high level commitment with, you're pooling your finances, um, or someone in your soul tribe, someone that you feel is on the same level as you. Maybe you feel like it's a risk. It feels like it turns out perfectly. Obviously, look at the fine details, okay? 
do a little bit of research, get a little bit of knowledge first, look at all that, that sort of, um, you know, anything that could be hidden in the shadows, take a look at it before you leap. Uh, but there's definitely an energy that things are going to turn out successfully. Now, I'll pull some cards on that energy before we move forward to the Celtic Cross. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Bright Angels. Can you, whoa, straight away. We have the Nine of Cups. I'm telling you, there's love here. Okay, now either this is someone that you are in love with or someone that loves you coming towards you to offer you some, some sort of business opportunity as well. I feel like there is a blurring of lines here. Now, um, Capricorn, it's not like you to ever get into business and then romantically be involved with someone because you take your business very seriously okay so um it's almost like you don't want the two to cross over because it would be messy should anything go wrong you're a business person you're a business mind and you do honor your heart but you may have um gone obsessively after your career for a while because of some sort of hurt or separation in the past i feel like you may have um just buried your head in work uh, but things are about to change. You're either about to meet somebody um, at some sort of new pace, place of work. So if you're getting a new job, for example, you'll meet someone there that has a romantic uh, interest in you and vice versa. Can you please clarify? How would you like to see? Thank you so much. Ooh, see, we got the Seven of Cups. Choices. What, should I stay with this person? Should I go? Should I um, commit to this person? Should I not? But there's definitely someone coming towards you uh, to give you an offer romantically. But I also feel, Capricorn, there is a solid offer coming towards you in terms of business if you're looking for something new. It's something you love doing. It's something that you're following your bliss. And um, how can I put it? Uh, the money will flow from there, but it starts with your love of what this thing is. But I feel like there's choices. I feel like it's not your first choice. That's what I'm getting with the business thing. I feel like there's an opportunity that comes along. It's not your first choice. I feel like there's something secondary that you're hoping for. I feel like it will come through. Oh yeah, look at this. Ooh. So we have um, now this romantic person. There is a possibility that I mean, this is not a romantic lead. This is not a romantic read, rather. Um, why did I say that? Romantic lead. Perhaps you're an actor, because we've got the stage there with the curtains. So perhaps you are um, a performer who is going to um, partner up with the right project, and you meet someone romantically there that will lead to some sort of high-level commitment. So it may be that it's a short-term contract. You meet someone romantic there, and you, you take the secondary uh, option that's coming along so there's another offer in terms of business coming towards you uh, but out of the first offer you were meant to go there to meet someone romantically it looks like it's a counterpart a soulmate okay uh, now there is a choice I was wondering why they're given the choice it's because we got someone new coming in to offer their cup of love and we got someone from the past also being on the scene coming on in now this person may have something to offer you it may be a job OK, um, I feel I'm going to have to pull a separate card on this person to find out their intentions. It's someone who wants to reunite with you, who's been thinking about you from the good old days. So it could be an, a work colleague. It does not have to be a romantic interest. It could be a work colleague who has, you know, a job offer and says, hey, um, we got something over here that's really great for you. I feel like this is the one that you take. It's interesting. Because uh, I feel like the first opportunity is something that's like a stepping stone or a time filler. And then there's something better that comes along. That's what I'm getting here. Um, I feel like you're manifesting this other option. We got the Magician card here, which indicates you've got a lot of skill, a lot of confidence. What you do, you're second to none at this, okay? I think you're focusing your visions to uh, turn them into reality. And I feel like there's accomplishment here. Um, there's also a little note. I just want to be mindful of this. I uh, want you to be mindful of this. The magician sometimes is quite controlling. And especially since we got the devil card, there may be something here where um, you may be gravitating to a way, you may be gravitating away from one position because there's something or somebody that's controlling within that. Or there is a set of rules there that you're like, that doesn't appeal to me, okay? Um, and I feel like you're, you're gonna not choose it for that reason, okay? Uh, that's, um, also, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to pull that card on that person's, uh, because although this person from the past may offer you a job opportunity or even tell you hey did you know that so-and-so is hiring you, you know you'd be perfect for that I feel like they've got 
an ulterior motive. So I'm just going to see what that is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Needles. Because they're just giving me a little energy there about unfinished business or scattered, you know, unfinished potential with this person. It may have been, even be that you had to give yourself closure on this. But I feel somehow it became into the friendship zone. It didn't end horribly. Now, it's not like you also to keep in contact with exes unless, you know, but I just get this feeling that there's something about this person. You kind of remained amicable with this person. Uh, let me see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you give me, this is getting, the deck is getting very heavy. There's a lot of, um, a lot of history with you and this person. Um, can you please give me this person's intention? So either you worked with this person a long time ago or they were romantically interested in you. Oh. Well, they want to heal things, okay? They actually don't have the job. It's not them uh, sort of offering you the job. It is them telling you about the job, okay? Just to let you know. Um, Ace of Cups, um, you were a little bit let down by this person and disappointed by this person. Um, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune indicates, because we got the Wheel of Fortune there as well, uh, this indicates, you know, um, things were out of your control with this situation. There may have been distance between you and this person. You had to travel for work. I feel like it came to a point where you're like, it's really difficult to maintain this relationship. Um, I feel like it's not that you called it a day, but I feel like you understood what happened, okay? Um, which allowed you and this person to somehow remain amicable. Okay, we got the star here indicating this person's sort of quite peaceful coming on in. I feel like there's a new phase in your life and I feel like this person's um, sort of, they've got a new project or a new idea to offer here. I feel like it gives you hope. Um, it's almost like a miracle that comes from nowhere. Okay, um, I feel like they offer you something in terms of business. Um, I just need to go one more. They've indicated that there's it's not romantic, I just have to say there. Um, you meet a new love interest at a new place of work or a new, um, something that you do that's new at work. So whether you're working in a new office or a department or um, you know your, your whole business is relocating somewhere or something like that, I feel very much like um, you're coming into being with a counterpart. Uh, one more before we go into the, thank you so much. Yeah, there is a new job coming on in. Okay, so uh, the Ace of Pentacles, your solid offer coming on in that I've been talking about. Um, I feel like this person, there's a couple of options, two in particular, I feel. Uh, one, I feel like you may take it for the short term, but you know that there's something better and that, that something better was either the information came from someone from the past or someone that you either used to work with or were romantically linked with in the past. Um, this is solid. This one is the long-term job. This one gives a lot more money. This one is a very solid investment. I feel like there's a new job or raise, promotion, some sort of income that comes on in, but ultimately prosperity in its purest form is starting to show up in your life. I feel like there's a lot of abundance being manifested here. Um, you're aligning yourself with success, whatever that means for you, and I feel like you're making an impact with whatever it is that you do, okay? I also feel like... Um, You've worked really hard for this. This is a gift from the universe. This is, and I feel like you know this. You know that something better was to come. Um, you've been through some tough times, had a lot of disappointment when it came to work. Perhaps you were rejected from a couple of um, positions or some sort of promotion or something. I feel like uh, you may have even been a little bit worried about money recently. I mean, a lot of people have. I know that's an obvious thing to say, uh, but I feel like this comes through for you, okay? This is this is a new offer at, at money that will grow exponentially. It's a very healthy way of um, planting solid roots, and I feel like uh, this job is absolutely made for you, Capricorn, whatever this is, okay? Uh, now let's get to the Celtic Cross to see how you're feeling about things and what's going on there, what's coming on in for you. Um, I definitely feel like you're abandoning fear and you're moving towards uh, something very successful and you may even feel like it's a lucky break Capricorn but I really feel like you deserve this you work damn hard for this and you have the skill set to embrace it so uh, luck is obviously important being in the right place at the right time but I feel like you earned this thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn what do they need to know what is the present moment how are they feeling the heart of the matter the Sun in in pursuit of happiness okay there's a, an energy here of being positive uh, riding out the storm. Now, when I was doing a um, 
meditation for you on the cards before um, I got to doing the cards. Uh, I got a couple of things come through. One was Steady Eddie. And it's just popped up again. That's why I'm mentioning it. I don't mention it unless it pops up again in the reading. Steady Eddie. So either your name is Eddie or the person that you're dealing with is called Eddie. Or it's just an energy of things being steady and calm right now. Uh, things are starting to work out in your favor. But they're give, just give me Steady Eddie. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not sure how that... Also, there was a kite, and they're showing it to me again now as well. Um, it's almost like things are starting to take off. That's the energy that I was getting from it. Um, the kite, you know, it started off kind of like not floundering, not at all, but be, you know, starting off sort of low because it's just catching the, the, the waves and then it starts to rise higher and then it's sort of dipping and, you know, I feel very much like it's becoming effortless. Things are starting to just work in your favor, okay? The sun card indicates you've waited a long time for this. Um, you may have felt like it was never gonna happen. You may have even started to doubt uh, things. Um, you also may have dealt with some egotistical personalities recently and you always nip that in the bud, Capricorn. You shut that down. I feel like you've, you're not someone to bite your tongue, um, but I feel like in this case, you've, you rode the energy out and tried to remain positive about the, uh, the future. Regardless, it's almost like you're becoming untouchable uh, in those energies. It's like you're keeping your head down, knuckling down and thinking about the brighter day. But right now you're, you're illuminating the way. There's a lot of success. You're looking for success and happiness and you're gonna find it because um, I feel like you worked damn hard for this. Now, what is the challenge in this situation for my beautiful Capricorn? I feel like right now things are blossoming for you in terms of relationships as well. Uh, and I mean friendships and just in the time period I've set, which is mid-March right through to mid-April, uh, I think, I, th I just feel things are starting to turn around for you for the better. The challenge in the situation, the moon card, illusions, okay? Um, there may have been a little bit of confusion and unhappiness where you were. You may have even wondered if some people had some, there was an undercurrent of secrecy here. Something came to light. You're not happy about it. But I feel like you've done a bit of shadow work. Um, and I feel very much like you're using your intuition. The challenge here is using your intuition, okay? Sometimes you doubt yourself. And also you doubt what is right for you. Um, the stars are aligning, but you're so practical that you're like, yeah, okay, I hear that, but let me see it. I don't believe it until I see it. Um, and you're gonna be made acutely aware that things are starting to work in your favor. There's gonna be something in particular that works out so well that you're like, no, that's impossible. Um, how did that happen? I feel like you're going to be like, th that could only have been a miracle. And I don't feel like you use that word miracle very freely. I feel like you're very practical and everything you have worked for, you have earned. Things falling in your lap don't just happen. And, but I feel like something's going to happen here. Whether it's news, uh, some sort of message, or this opportunity, I feel like you're going to be surprised. It's almost like you're going to disbelieve it. But it brings a lot of illumination here. The time of frustration... Uh, was when you were waiting. So that's the energy I'm getting. Now, what is below you? Page of Earth. This is what the underlying feeling that's ca calling you through, that's helping you through, which is you're being patient for the right opportunity. There is a new job on the horizon um, or some sort of new investment on the horizon. It's coming after a rocky time, as you can see. Things are starting to grow again. You may even feel like you're starting from scratch in some sort of area, but you really are not, okay? You've gained a lot of knowledge. Whatever it is that you've learned, you've got new skills to your bow, and I feel like you're ahead of the competition. Um, I feel very much like you're gonna hear some sort of news within the time period I've set that really sort of sets you free. It's, it's the one that you've been waiting for, the opportunity that you've been waiting for, okay? It gives you an opportunity to spread your wings and really fly. You are using your individuality, you're not conforming, and I feel like people are embracing that. They really love that about you. Um, whilst at the same time, you're being practical and staying within a set of guidelines. It's interesting how you're, it's almost like someone gives you the rule book and you go, okay, I read the rule book, now, I'll stick to the majority of the rules, but in my own way. And I feel like people really like that about you, okay? There's going to be the odd person who does not like that about you, but, you know, this is your life, not theirs. So, they get, whoa, whoa, whoa. There is a lot of news around you, okay? Messenger of Earth. So, you may have already heard, because this is in your recent past, 
You may have already heard about an opportunity, and this is the one that you may take short term, okay? Because there's two newses here. Can you see? There's the page brings news, and the messenger also brings news. When you get the messenger of uh, Earth, this is an indication that your hard work has brought you to this point and you've led with integrity. You've made quite a good name for yourself in what you've done so far with true grit. I feel like your careful efforts has seen you to the now, okay? You've got a lot of stamina, a lot of endurance and dedication to your dream. And I feel like only recently you found your mojo back to be back in the flow, okay? So either you've heard about some sort of offer and you've decided to take it for the short term or there's been some sort of offer that's been sort of floating in the air and you've been mulling it over and you're deciding not to take it, you're deciding to wait for something else there. There's definitely an energy here that um, your commitment to prosperity is um, already starting to show velocity in your life. There is tangible success. I feel like there's you're gonna start seeing the first signs of the success in the time period I've set. And I don't say that to everybody. I, I always say, oh yeah, you're gonna hear some news and things will work out a little bit further within the time period I've set. But I think that you've got a plan, okay? And I, f I feel like you're gonna to start to see some of those results generate within the time period that I've set. I feel you're a doer, okay? You make decisions, you stick by them. You're a hard worker and you have the ability to attract what you need, okay? I feel like you're very industrious. Whatever it is, your efforts will pay off. But I do feel, again, they're highlighting those two opportunities. One, you will either consider taking for the short term uh, until something better comes along, or you are deciding to hold out and take the second option, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Now, the second option may be that you're partnering up with somebody because I feel like there's some sort of entrepreneurial business going on here. You may be partnering up with two other people because they're actually showing me, uh, it's interesting, they're two, showing me two outlines of people. They're not showing me their faces or anything. It's like outlines. So perhaps you've got two people in mind that you would like to go into business with in the future, um, but nothing has been realized or formed yet. It's just a pipe dream. It's just something that you're formulating as a plan. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody, um, but they're just showing that to me just now. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Okay, um, they're actually giving me the name John. So either your name is John or uh, you're dealing with a John or perhaps John offers you the job or something like that. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide? Ooh. So what is above you? What is the potential? Because they're being a bit, they're being uh, resistant. What is the potential? What is the goal? What is the dream? Oof. Uh, you know what they already said? They said you already got the dream card, the sun. You're in pursuit of happiness, and that is the goal and the dream. So they, uh, they're they very cheeky, whoever's joining me right now. Oh, you want this one at the top. Okay. Four of water. So this is the potential. The potential is, just when you're feeling fed up with where you are, because we got the four of water here. Just when you're feeling like nothing's happening, along comes all the buses at once, right? This is an opportunity from spirit. When you get the four of um, the four of water, four of uh, basically that's a four of cups. There is a feeling of unfulfilled where you are, uh, being unfulfilled where you are, and then the universe sends in surprise gifts. Okay, now I feel like there are two opportunities that are surprising. One we've already talked about is the one that you want to take for the long term, okay? But it is a surprise. I feel like you have a lot of potential, Capricorn, to be very, very successful. As long as you lead with your heart and what you want to do emotionally, okay? That keeps your interest. It's not something that you do for money, okay? I feel like money is, money is important and you've got a lot of it coming on in, but I feel like it's not the attachment. You want to do something that frees up your time, I feel, and gives you a lot more time to find love. That's the energy that I, I'm feeling here, okay? Because I feel like you've uh, worked solidly for a long time and you may not have had enough time to really focus on finding a counterpart or so I feel like things are changing for you, okay? Now, what is in the, the near future? Eight of Earth. So this is the energy, they've asked me to go to another one on this one as well, so I will. Uh, this is, uh, the Eight of Earth is about mastering your craft, enjoying what you do, um, but also employing that new skill or that craft. So you're either earning while you learn or you're doing some sort of apprenticeship, you're gaining knowledge, 
Perhaps you take this first job or this first opportunity to gain some extra skills or a name on a, on a resume in order to go for the next one. I feel like it's a stepping stone. That's the energy that I get. And I feel like you're the best at what you do. You may not realize it because you're not egotistical, but I feel very much like um, you're rising up, mastering that craft, and you're going to be very accomplished at what you do. You reach a certain um, glass ceiling, as it were, and I feel like now you're actually smashing the glass ceiling and rising up. Let's see what the other card is that they want for this. The Hermit. Okay, now the Hermit is a solitary energy. There's a lot of um, introspection here, enlightenment, and I feel like it's almost like the, 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 the advice that I was given earlier, which is you're trying to enjoy, find a position that you really work and love in. Let me rephrase that. That you really love to work in, but also to free up some time so you can have some alone time. The Hermit indicates time out, you know, that's necessary for your growth. You want to enjoy what you're earning in the moment. It's wonderful to be saving for retirement and all of those things, but you're, you're, it's almost like you're saying, what a hack. You want to retire early so that you can um, enjoy the fruits of your labor for longer. Um, so I feel very much like you're trying to free up your, your there's a couple of key, they're showing me all of these keys all of a sudden, okay? Um, so they're interrupting the flow with all of these keys. They're indicating that you may be looking at lots of different alternative routes of financial abundance. So you may be, um, you know, doing things like um, having a job that you enjoy that's kind of like doesn't take up all your time. You may be doing things online as well. Um, I feel like you may have a secondary sideline business. I, you know, this, this business with somebody else, partnership here, may even be with someone that you really trust but is a side sideline job. I feel like you've been looking at things like seven. What is that? Sorry, they're giving me seven. I can't get what they're saying, but the energy that I'm getting is it's seven alternative routes for financial success. I feel like you're looking at plans of all the different opportunities, the ways that you could earn money, um, different streams of finances. That's what I'm getting here. Um, but I feel like um, you're going deep within for the truth and wisdom of yourself, um, you know, clarity as to what you want. Because I feel like you want to be working, of course, but you don't want to be working forever. So I feel like you're trying to free up your time. Now, what is the advice that you're giving yourself? Oh my gosh, King, uh, sorry, Queen of Earth. Okay, so this is you being very resourceful with your money. This is Virgo energy. Pay attention, Capricorn. We got a lot of money in your charts. Um, and the major arcanas we got are opposing, you know, opposites. Perhaps the person you're with, you feel like it's opposites attract as well, or that you're trying to uh, call in romantically because we got the sun and the moon. There's a lot of illumination here and it's financial. Uh, the queen of earth indicates, you know, you're being practical. You're being grounded in whatever it is that you um, are trying to build. I feel like you've already planted seeds. You're being resourceful and whatever it is that you are committed to, I feel like those goals are starting to um, appear. And you're starting to, as I said, smash through that ceiling. I feel like you're very honest and any of the challenges that you've had before you, you're rising up above those. And I feel like you're calling in a lot of financial opportunities towards you. And you're going to partner up with the right people who can help you um, realize your dreams. It's almost like you're finding your soul tribe that helps you be very, very successful. You're going to partner up as if by magic, the right people. It's almost like if you were meant to be, um, I'm just going to give you a... a an example, if you were meant to go for an interview on Tuesday at 12 o'clock, okay, and you were prepared for that, etc., etc., and you decided to get to the place an hour early because you're conscientious, you don't want to be late for the interview, so you go and you sit in a coffee shop uh, to, to wait out the hour, read a book, whatever you're doing, and then, you know, maybe you went to a really busy coffee shop and then someone said, hey, is anyone sitting here? Can I join your table? And you're like, yeah, sure, and you start you know, you have a bit of a conversation and then all of a sudden you realize this person works in the same industry as you, you're having a chat, blah, blah, blah. You, fit, you walk away thinking, that was an interesting meeting. Maybe I was meant to meet that person for a reason. Then many years later or many months later or even in your interview, you meet that person again. There's something here about faded destiny that they're giving me right now, which is you're going to cross paths with somebody in particular who is really intrinsic to your journey ahead, okay? Also, I feel like you're thinking about buying a home 
This is the card of domesticity, and I feel like you're going to have a wonderful opportunity that allows you to be able to do that, or invest in your home if you have one, do some sort of DIY, but I feel like um, it, it's a wonderful energy that you're in, um, which is calling in your abundance. Plus, you have healthy boundaries, Capricorn. By that, I mean nobody's going to offer you less than you deserve. I feel like you're not going to take it. If someone offered you a job that you've been doing your whole life, and it's a new opportunity to go, oh yeah, you know, unfortunately, you know, due to current climate, financially, we're not able to uh, offer you the usual package of bonuses and benefits because of blah, 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 blah. You're like, okay, yeah, I hear the spiel. All I'm hearing is I'm walking out the door. All I'm hearing is you don't really want to invest in me. You want someone to do all the work, but pay them little. I feel like you're not, you're not taking it. You're not taking it, okay? Um, and what is the environment right now? Patience. Now, when we get patience as a Sagittarian energy of temperance, there is always time for you to re-examine your priorities during that downtime. Patience and waiting does not mean you're not doing something. Capricorn, you're always doing something. You're thinking of the next plan. You're thinking of the next route to success. You're thinking about your five-year plan, your 10-year plan, where you wanna be in the future. I also feel like there is purpose in patience because spirit gave me that a couple of weeks ago and it's really blown my mind whenever you think if someone tells you be patient you're like oh i don't want to be patient but sometimes there is a reason for that patience if you jumped at the first opportunity you took and were like yeah this is it it's great spirit's like oh come on capricorn if you just waited a little bit extra there'll be this huge opportunity that came along that will be so much better okay so sometimes patience is warranted Yes, you've waited a long time. And yes, you feel like there's been a lot of chaotic, disruptive energy around you um, and stagnation. But I feel like there's just this one little bit further to go. Also, I feel like there may be some sort of competition for this opportunity, okay? I feel like you are the one who is head and shoulders above the rest because of whatever it is that's new that you've learnt, okay? Um, I feel like that really carries you through. It sets you above the rest. Um, you may feel a little bit lonely in your work, and that's why they're really indicating uh, freeing up your time to find a counterpart. Uh, now, what is your hopes and fears in this situation? We have Seven of Earth. Seven of Earth is you've been working so hard. You've had a lot of patience, and sometimes you have not seen the fruits of your labor. Okay, so that is a fear. You're wondering if you're on the right path. Should you still go on the same path? path is it savable or should you do something new because you have that magician card earlier there's an energy here that um you're thinking about giving up you're not lazy by anybody's means no way jose but you don't want to work with no reward you don't want to work in a position where you know you could get more better so i feel like there is a fear here that's in the current climate people may offer you less than you truly deserve and you're wondering if there's like hardly any job opportunities about because there's a lot of people who lost their jobs there's a lot of people changing careers all trying to survive and i feel like you're wondering if you should take the first opportunity that comes along wait for something better what should you do so i feel like there's a hope and a fear here that you hope that the success that you've been working damn hard for is on its way and it is um just to let you know that it is definitely um or whether you should sort of like just grab the first opportunity and hope that your hard work will lead to that delayed success. Uh, equally, um, you know, you're worried that you could get more elsewhere if it was a different time. Um, I feel like these are warranted worries, but trust your intuition. The knowledge that you have gained will bring you through. And also the, the moon card is there for a reason. The challenge is trusting your intuition, knowing what is right for you and what is not, okay? Um, shedding all those illusions to get rid of the confusion, okay? Um, fear is just an illusion. We often keep ourselves stuck because of fear. Thank you so much, spirit guides, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn for the outcome? What's going on there? What is the outcome in the situation? Thank you so much, spirit guides, going angels. Can you please guide? What is that? <laughs> They're giving me nine... They've done this before. They've just shown me loads of balloons just being released into the air. And then there's like a little song in the background that if I really, really listen to it, it sounds like 99 red balloons. But I'm just getting this energy of you rising and things feeling a little bit more effortless. Some sort of weight being taken off your shoulder. Maybe some sort of celebration. 
maybe you've just been listening to that song on the radio or even watching a video of someone releasing balloons or maybe you're blowing up balloons right now for some sort of someone's celebration or birthday please take it as it resonates i'm not sure why they give me balloons but it feels celebratory thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful whoa 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 capricorn did you see that i hope you caught that on the camera they flew right out let me just go get those oh my gosh so oh god can i reach that one let me just say things do not happen by accident okay your solution your outcome position is here. This is your solution outcome here. You got a wheel of fortune again. Fate is intervening, Capricorn, for you to rise, for you to be successful, okay? So this is double luck. I feel whatever it is that you feel you have to come out of your comfort zone on or uh, take a risk on, I feel like the wheel of fortune uh, is going to pay off. Okay, luck is on your side. There's definitely a turning point for uh, the better. I feel like your experiences are uh, going to help you along the way. And remember, there are no coincidences. So if you meet someone by accident, it's not by accident. Spirit has put this person in your path for a reason. If someone from your past comes out of the blue and says, hey Capricorn, did you hear that so-and-so is hiring? It is not an accident. It is divine timing, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune indicates you're following your heart and therefore you're deserving of good karma. Destiny is intervening. This is the time for moving out of misfortune or chaos or bad luck. This is the time for abundance. And it is for the long term. We got another four of earth. We got another pentacle. There's so much money here. Uh, four of earth equals ownership, okay? Uh, trusting in your solid foundation that you've built so far. Remember, we're always, uh, I heard a sentence the other day. It really, really, it really, um, really was quite profound. Nothing kills the present like living in the past. I thought that was really interesting and it's just popped up here for now. It's, it's a memory of mine. It is not given by spirit. I just want to indicate the two, the separation between the two. Uh, but I felt the need to mention it right now because I feel like um, sometimes we forget how far we've come, all the stuff that we've dealt with to get to where we are. We've had ups and downs along the way, but still we got to where we are. So. The thing to sort of focus on is what grounding do you have in this present, the foundation you've built so far. I feel like you're thinking long term in terms of your plan for financial security and you're exactly where you're meant to be for your highest good in this moment. OK, uh, there is going to be intervention by spirit for the better. I feel like you will you will have abundance available to you. And I feel like you're rising from a very strong position for long term security in terms of financial abundance. Um, but ultimately, uh, I feel like there's a lot of, um, it comes as a surprise and they want me to um, show you your, uh, there's going to be a lot of coincidences, for example, um, things like uh, double numbers, um, synchronicities, as I mentioned earlier, destiny meeting synchronicity, uh, you know, the potential here, surprise from the universe. Here's a surprise from the universe. And interestingly, we got double fours. Okay, so really pay close attention to your synchronicities. Very, very important. Um, there is a lot of financial wealth coming your way, uh, but it starts with some news and some knowledge that you've just gained. Now, we're going to leave that there. I'm just going to give you a um, beautiful vintage oracle card. Thank you so much. Perception. Oh my gosh, we got another theater. So perhaps you are a performer or something. Um, there's two masks there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Okay. Uh, they're just giving me Jolly Roger. Now, obviously, Jolly Roger is like a pirate, right? Pirate ship. Maybe you're dealing with ships or something. Jolly Roger, maybe. Or uh, Jolly Roger. Maybe your name is Roger and you're happy. <laughs> um, it could be that you're dealing with someone called Roger who's always happy. Um, ooh, I'll just go get that card one moment, please. Um... Jolly Roger, if I'm really connecting to it, I feel like it could be scorpionic energy, endings bringing new beginnings uh, that are much more abundant. One moment, please. I'm just going to go get that card. Oh my gosh. Things are going to be more abundant and you get the card of abundance. So what is your whole reading about? I think it's about abundance, Capricorn. Financial abundance, emotional security, and enjoying what you do. Okay, a lot of transformation here, but I feel like you're gonna really enjoy this sort of transformation. It frees you up and gives you more money. 
Perception. Now, there's something here about drama, the perception of drama for the good and the bad. Um, as you can see, happiness and sadness. This person is shaking one of those masks. Uh, now, one of those masks, I feel, traditionally comes from Italy. So perhaps this is something you have as an ornament because they're showing this to me as an ornament. So either you bought it somewhere in Italy or you were going, you were planning to go to Italy and you wanted to go and see the masked. What is that? I feel like there's a place in Italy that sells these masks. I mean, they may be all over because everything's commercialized now, but I feel like traditionally it comes from there. Uh, I'm probably hugely wrong and you're all going to shoot me for that. Um, but I, I just get this energy that um, there's some sort of connection to Italy. Not sure why. Um, but we got the perception, perception of drama. It's almost like you be you being in the, the position of the sun right at the beginning. Um, life is what you make it. Sometimes we're given lemons. You're the sort of person who makes lemonade out of that, okay? So it's almost like when there's drama and there's sadness, somehow you still manage to make it work. Somehow you still remain positive that you can turn it around. And that is your superpower, as it were. It's all about perception. You've built very strong... Ooh, we've got a little bit of energy joining the reading. Um, a breeze coming on in here. Um, they're indicating two pillars, very strong. You've built solid foundations. No matter what drama comes your way to... Um, rock the boat as it were i feel like you are being very very resilient and resourceful and you ride that wave you make it work for yourself okay now i'm just going to get you uh wisdom of the oracle card before we close the reading thank you so much for guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful capricorn what do they need to know regarding their career uh what advice Woo. how would you like to receive thank you so much okay so we have why why in the reverse so either you separated from a position um and it really hurt you or you separated i don't feel like you separate i mean you may have separated from a person but um, i don't feel that energy from this reading so perhaps in that respect it's not your reading uh not all of it but just that part um i just feel like I feel like things got delayed and you may be asking the bigger questions like why we got it in the reverse indicating you know you may not never get the why but we have to give ourselves closure on something i think i mentioned that earlier about you know you having to get your give yourself closure on something um but you may be still wondering the why of the drama what happened there okay and we also got the here and now so they wanted me to channel that that message just before i you got this card the here and now you don't need to live in the past don't live in the future either. Taking care of the present actually influences the future, okay? Sometimes we're always too busy looking at the future to forget to enjoy the present. And I feel like that's why you're trying to shake up your working life to do something that pays um, a lot of money or a couple of things that pay money in order to allow you the time to breathe and enjoy it in the present moment. As you can see, we got past there, future, an egg. She's sitting on an egg rebirthing something new the doors are wide open here so it looks like the right doors are opening for you to birth something new and it says you are here i feel like you've arrived capricorn at some sort of epiphany it's number 32 when you reduce it three plus two is five the number of obstacles overcoming those obstacles to be here now and rise up towards the right opportunity okay now let's read from the book because i don't want to tell you anything wrong oh my gosh they said look at the numbers look at the numbers so i'm looking at the numbers and out of the whole deck capricorn and this only happened uh for um aquarius earlier as well uh they got out of the whole deck and i shuffle this all the time you got number i'm just going to show you in the upright you got number 31 and you got number 32 two cards back to back that's unusual, okay, because I shuffle these cards daily over and over again. They're not in order. I mean, you've probably been seeing me shuffle these cards for like what? I've had them for about a year. So um, they're not in order. So it's interesting that you get two cards back to back. Another indication that there is synchronicity here. Um, you often get synchronicity when you see a Wheel of Fortune as well. And you got two of them. So... The motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. You get the protection message as it's turned up in reverse. Sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you towards a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention 
hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be a prominent person in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. You may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong. But deep down, what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. I'm just gonna, they're just indicating someone's ear. Left ear is very itchy. Now, that is not my energy, but they're indicating it, so I've had to just let go of the card for a second to really... If that's you, there's definitely something in this message for you. So either, like, there was a little fly next to you or something, or it was a hair. I'm not sure what it was, uh, but they're indicating there was itchiness on that side. That's for you. If it does not resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit. does not mean it's not your reading. It just means that person needs to pay close attention to this message. It says here... Um, now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your particular choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness that you seek. Okay, uh, so why are you doing what you're doing? Patience. During that time, as I said, you get to re-examine your priorities in life. What it is that you truly want. Why are you doing it? So we have here and now, being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. Prosperity message is... What you are working on is golden and your efforts will leave a powerful legacy. Focus not on the focus not on meeting the goal in the far off future, but on creating your dream now, releasing your desire for an outcome and owning that it already exists. It will appear in the material world as if by magic. Claim your prosperity now. The essence is more important than the form. When you are immersed in prosperous thoughts, you automatically tune into a sense of timelessness and unlimited potential. You can act as if in spite of the temporary outer conditions. You are prosperous at this moment. What you think now becomes your reality. Stay present. Very important message there. Something to live by for sure. Thank you so much for your Go ahead, Angel. Can you please guide? Oh, look at this. They've only given one trinket. I close my eyes when I uh, pick these trinkets, but they've given a seahorse. Now, seahorses are about finding your counterpart, things that are longevity, uh, so it's long standing. Okay, the seahorse often partners up with uh, their person or their other seahorse uh, for life. Okay, so it's either about you shaking up your current working foundation in order to have more time for you to find your counterpart or it's about you uh, partnering up with a counterpart, someone that you truly love and trust in order to make some sort of business idea work on the side, okay? Please take it as it resonates. There's a lot of emotion here, but a lot of love. I feel like there's an energy of seeking where you belong, doing what you love, and being rewarded heavily for it. They actually want it on the Wheel of Fortune. So fate is intervening here. I feel like you're gonna have it all. Work, money, love, your counterpart, I feel like it's all coming together, okay? Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, wow, what a reading. We will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Sorry, they're just showing me uh, raisins, like chocolate raisins. So either you're eating some chocolate raisins in this moment, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. If it's not, um, does not mean it's not your reading, as I said earlier, uh, but they're really highlighting it. Either you just bought some chocolate raisins or you're sitting down to have some chocolate raisins. Um, please take it as, as it resonates. Um, but if any of the uh, reading resonated for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message and it lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. If you'd like to enter the uh, personal reading competition, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your very busy day. I know you are super busy, but if you have 10 minutes to yourself, wherever that may be, in the bath, sitting in your bed, whatever, 10 minutes out of your day and visualize what it is you want to achieve, that goal, that thing that is so special for you, okay? If it's about manifesting love, imagine the sort of person you want to be with, the sort of humor this person would have, the sort of uh, traits this person would have, how they would look, how they would text you, and you you know, excited to hear from them, how you would see this person for dinner, how you would walk along the seashore with this person feeling their hand in yours, the sun on your faces, laughter, feeling light, that first sort of, you know, butterflies of love. Feel all those things. If it's your career you want, you know, if you want to be, I don't know, if you want to be an astronaut, 
Imagine what it would feel like to get into the suit for the first time or, um, you know, something tangible, of course, to you, whatever it is that you want to be. If you want to be a manager, taking on new responsibilities, imagine what it feels like to prepare yourself for that, to run a team, to re get rewards for that. Really see it. See yourself signing the papers, see yourself having your own office, rearranging your office, getting your photo on the table of people who matter to you, your little ink thing, your little calculator, all of those things. See it. The details are important. What you think about, you bring about. So I just want you to take 10 minutes out of your day and visualize for you. I only want people to rise up and get what they are truly trying to manifest, okay? You can share it with the group in the boxes below, the comments boxes if you wish to, but it's often a very private experience. So if you don't want to, just put the word love and I will read all of the comments and I will pick one lucky subscriber on the 12th of April and I will offer them a personal reading that is free for no money, no donation, nothing like that. I don't do that, okay? So if anyone who's a scammer messages you, because I mean, I've even changed my photo and I put no personal readings on the photo just to stop the scammers, but they still took the photo even though it says no personal readings and they still are messaging people saying, I'm now doing personal readings. Um, no, you're not. You're pretending to be me. I'm not doing it. So please be mindful. I'm going to leave it there, my beautiful Capricorn. Thank you so much. So much love and light to you.